Algeria's Minister of Finance Zainab Ahmed says the media outcry that Groot had alleged 206 billionaire pardon of the 2023 budget proposal of the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs is as a result of communication gaps. The minister made this known at a meeting with the House Committee on Appropriation. National Assembly correspondent Joke Adisa reports. The public outcry that greeted alleged padding of the spending plan of the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs for the 2023 fiscal year forms the basis of this gathering. The Committee on Appropriation grew the Finance Minister and the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. For your ministry, if you see that kind of uh, issue within the budget, you would have contacted your chairman of committees within the House. He would lie with me not going into the media. The lawmakers are not comfortable with the continued absence of the Humanitarian Affairs Minister over time before relevant committees are moved to summon her. Minister for Humanitarian, she will appear before this committee tomorrow unfailingly. Mr. Chairman, I so moved. But rather than adopt Taiwo Uluga's motion, the committee advised Sadia Omar Farouk to come before it and provide clarifications on the raging matter. Whenever issues like this arise, Let's have that synergy so that we'll be on the same page with uh, explanation that will help us keep the cohesion, the unity in this country together. Finance Minister attributes the outcry to communication gaps. She insists there was no insertion of any kind in the ministry's budget. Zainab Hamid says the allocation of 206 billion naira was for multilateral and bilateral loan projects. We need to find how to bridge that gap so that each minister each permanent secretary will be aware of the project that they own and also exact the necessary oversight over the implementation of the budget. The permanent secretary in the Humanitarian Affairs Ministry defends the minister and tells the lawmakers pardon didn't emanate from her. The issue was not raised by the Ministry of Humanitarian and from the explanation given, we concur totally that what has been provided is part of our project. The only mistake there was the coding, which has been clarified even before coming to this committee. At the end of the interface, the legislator sought improved interagency collaboration to avoid misrepresentation of facts and figures. And even without the presence of the Ministry of Defense, the committee expressed satisfaction with the explanations provided by the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning. Jokayadza, TVC News, Abuja.